Good evening, and welcome to Widener News. I'm Joanne Klein. And I'm Jamal Goodman, here to bring the latest updates happening on Widener's campus. Every year, Widener joins the fight against cancer and the university's annual rel Relay for Life. This year, the event will take place on April 11th from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. on Memorial Field. Registration is $5 for a limited time, but this will end tomorrow, so sign up soon. Visit the website and use Relay 2014 as the coupon code for registration. After tomorrow, the registration fee will go back to $10. This year's theme is The Amazing Race. The night will be filled with music, food, and fun activities for everyone to enjoy. All the money raised to Relay for Life will go towards cancer research. By going online to RelayForLife.org, you will help bring hope to someone's life. How Widener fight this disease and support the cause? This winter, students at Widener have seen more snow than they have seen in previous years. These crazy winter storms have even given the students a snow day, which isn't typical for this campus. With all storms this year, Widener has taken precautions to keep their students and staff safe. Widener makes sure the streets are plowed and salt covers the sidewalks of the campus. Everyone has enjoyed the snow this winter, as you can see, see from all the pictures uploaded to Twitter and Instagram. However, a lot of the students are also ready for warmer weather as spring break approaches. The snow melting on campus may be a good sign that this cold uh, winter may be coming to an end, or maybe we spoke too soon. I actually seen somebody's window down during the snowstorm. Really? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> the School of Hospitality Management at Widener is keeping busy this month with the annual dinner series. This event allows the hospitality students to choose their dinner theme and create a meal themselves. After spring break, four students will get their chance to show off their talents. With the theme cuisine of British Isles, the students have chosen their soup, salads, and entrees and desserts. This dinner series will take place on March 19th at 5.30 in the Marriott Dining Room. Reservations are required and can be made at 610-499-1127. Come support the hospitality management program and enjoy some great food. Valentine's Day was just a few weeks ago. Students at Widener celebrated this loving holiday in many ways. Michael went out and interviewed students to see what exciting things they had planned during, for the day. Though cold, love is in the air. So I want to see what Widener students are doing for this Valentine's Day. I don't really have plans for Valentine's no Day. No plans? No. Aww. It's not really upsetting. It's more of me treating myself. Yeah, I do. Okay, what's your plan? Um, I'm going out to eat with my girlfriend, got okay. her roses. I do, I'm actually going down uh, to the shore. I've got a concert on Saturday, so I'm going to go down to the bars there with some friends. Oh, that's cool, who are you going to see? Luke Bryan. Hopefully see that new movie uh, by Kevin Hart. I forgot what happened last night. That's mm -hmm. what I actually, if the snow doesn't keep us inside. But. I have no plans. Actually, well, I'm, I don't have a boyfriend or anything like that. <laughs> but um, I'm a singer, so I got this show coming up. So I'm going to just go to D.C. and, you know, me and my group, we're going to sing and mm -hmm. share our love with the audience. Hanging out with uh, friends and family. Okay, that's cute. So what do you guys, like, have planned? Like, you're going to sit at home, go out? Uh, start out at, at home and probably have just dinner. Okay. I'm doing nothing. Probably just stay in my dorm, watch movies, and hang out with my friends. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you have your plans for Valentine's Day? Um, uh, yes, I, I think I need to go out and get some flowers. Okay. And a bottle of champagne. Okay. Got to keep the uh, the wife happy. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, me and my boyfriend are going to Red Lobster on Friday. Oh. If the weather isn't bad. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I think I'm going to order pizza, mm -hmm. put on a movie. That's about it. Um, me and my friends are going out to dinner, and we're going to make it really romantic, even though all of us are single. Girls night out. Uh, actually, like yeah, two girls and then one boy. Okay, so cool. he's gonna have like three dates. He's really lucky. Yeah. So I we have nothing special plan, but um, someone beautiful out there, they gonna get stepped up to. I'm gonna get on one knee. I'm gonna be like, you are a beautiful lady, and I'd love for you to be my bond time. And I'm gonna have a flower, and I'm gonna give it to him. Whether you're kicking it with your friends, family, or that special someone, or even the snow, Wider TV hopes you have a special Valentine's Day. So how was your Valentine's Day? I had a good Valentine's Day. I went out with a few friends. How was yours? Oh, well, mine was great. I went to go see the new Kevin Hart movie. It was pretty Ooh. funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went, I went to Applebee's. You know, I oh, got, Applebee's? got the Ooh. two for 20. Two for 20. Oh, that's a good deal. Yeah, you I can be. Yeah, I haven't gone in a while. I guess, well, spring break's coming up, so I guess I'll go during spring break. <laughs> well, actually, now that you mentioned spring break, spring break is coming up, and it's time to prepare your room for checkout. The residence halls will close tomorrow at 6 p.m. and will not open again until Sunday, March 9th at 9 a.m. Students are not allowed to stay unless they fill out a form requesting permission. Before leaving, there are steps you must take to properly check out. 
First, make sure you sign out with an RA or on a list. Failure to do so will result in an improper checkout fee of $50. All perishables must be removed from refrigerators. Make sure to unplug everything and empty out all trash cans into the hallway trash cans. Finally, lock all windows, close the blinds, turn off lights, and lock your door. Do not forget anything you may need over break because you will be unable to get back into your room. In the case you do need to stay on campus, there are three buildings will be open. Metropolitan, Sharples, and Dixon South. Staying in these buildings require applications, so make sure your application has been cleared with Residence Life. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. Tune in next week to see what's happening here on campus. I'm Joanne Klein. And I'm Jamal Goodman. Have a good night, Wadner. So really, that car left the, they left the windows open?